Hi, I'm Stu Harrison, and today I'm coming to you from Miriam Pianos here in Oakville. And we're going to be looking at Kawhi's new upright piano called the CS10. Now, it sounds great and it looks great. One thing that is not going to be immediately obvious is that this is actually a digital piano. Now the CS10 is part of a whole new class of digitals that the industry is starting to experiment with. They call it the hybrid piano. And the reason they call it the hybrid is because it's combining elements of the acoustic piano world and elements of the digital piano world. And with the CS10, Kawhi has reached a whole new level uh, of this combining of the acoustic and the digital world. Now just like any digital piano, I tend to be pretty critical and there's a few things that I am always looking for or, or, or standards that I'm looking to see whether they've met having to do with the action, how it feels, um, the sound, you know, am I able to get a really authentic response out of the instrument, uh, and of course the packaging, you know, how it looks, how it behaves, is it easy to navigate, uh, does it look good in the house, does it look good in the studio. And we're going to be looking at the, going through all of those elements today uh, for you. Now, to be honest, the CS10 was an instrument that we did not expect to get a lot of attention uh, because from a price point standpoint, we're well into you know, acoustic range. This is not uh, a starter level instrument by any means. Uh, but when we started looking at the traffic coming to our website, we realized the CS10 was actually getting almost as much attention as some of our $1,000 keyboards. People were really, really captivated uh, and intrigued by this concept. So that's why we're doing the video today. I'm going to start by talking about the keys and the action. Now in most digital pianos, the action is made almost entirely of plastic and consists of counterweights, it consists of springs. Um, really, they're trying to use synthetic, lighter, cheaper materials to simulate how a real acoustic piano key behaves. Well, Kawhi several years ago started experimenting with the idea of rather than simulating an acoustic key, why not just put an acoustic key in the digital piano and work from there? What we've got now is what they're calling the grand piano action feel. And this is something that is very, very similar to their RM3, a slightly earlier version of this. And as you can see, the key is actually the same key as what goes in their acoustic pianos. The geometry is very similar. The distance from the front rail to the balance rail is the same. And you're looking at a solid wood key. Uh, right where the cap stand would normally be on an acoustic is a cap stand here and then you've got a hammer that swings up to strike a sensor and that is a triple sensor to ensure absolute accuracy and deliver pinpoint precision to the computer to tell it exactly what you're trying to do with the key. Now this has several benefits. One drawback that plastic actions have traditionally had is over time that plastic tends to dry out, sometimes it can shrink, uh, it starts to click, and often it's, it's prone to breakage uh, once you've been using it uh, pretty heavily for a while. Something like this has not a single hinge in it, uh, there's no springs in it, and it's a very, very simple design. Back and forth, back and forth, it's going to take a lot to beat this action down. So you've got a very durable action, plus an action that rather trying to simulate the geometry of the key just is. I can tell you it feels great. Um, people who come in expecting this to feel like a nine foot concert grand, uh, you know, let's be realistic, we're still talking about a digital. But in terms of uh, feeling the same as say a 45, 46 inch upright piano, uh, and certainly amongst the absolute best that the digital industry has ever produced, uh, this is sensational. Second thing I'm going to talk about today is the sound. You heard a little bit about it uh, before. I'm going to play another quick sample here so you can get it back in your ear. Now, Kawhi has been experimenting with a technology called modeling for several years now. And 
one of their most successful tone engines, uh, which this is using now, it's called Harmonic Imaging XL. Uh, and it's a pure synthesis of both modeling technology and sampling technology. Um, now, I'll be getting into the difference between modeling and sampling in another video, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. But in short, sampling is essentially taking a digital snapshot of a real piano sound uh, and replaying it. Modeling, on the other hand, is pure synthesis, using computer algorithms to generate the piano sound in real time, almost like if you were playing uh, a video game and you were seeing the graphics being rendered in real time versus just having a movie playing. Um, so this is combining both. It's using sampling, which is a fantastic way to reproduce very authentically the fundamental or the main pitch of the sound. But one of the challenges digitals have always had is recreating the upper harmonics, and this is where modeling comes in. This uses an incredibly complex algorithm to generate those. And on top of that, the computer is powerful enough that on top of being able to get all of those interplaying uh, upper harmonics happening, it still has a polyphony of 256, which is industry leading. Now, that's the computer. What's truly unique about the CS10 is how it delivers that sound to you. Now, the majority of the sound on a CS10 is not coming to me through speakers. The majority of it is actually coming through a real solid spruce soundboard. Now, how they do this is a series of magnets on the back are actually connected to a bridge system, which then drives that soundboard and makes it behave truly like a transducer. No different than the front of a guitar would, or of course in an acoustic piano, how a soundboard normally would behave with the bridge activating it. So when I'm playing something like this, I'm getting an unbelievably authentic acoustic uh, sense from this instrument because most of the sound is traveling through real wood. Uh, you'd be surprised at how much it filters out the digitalness that you get even from very, very high-end instruments. Now, the third thing I mentioned is, of course, the aesthetic. And to be honest, I don't know how you can beat this. Close the lid, and you've got exactly the same casing that Kawhi is now putting on their K200 award-winning acoustic upright piano. Uh, to all but the most trained eye, this is going to look like and feel uh, like a real acoustic piano in your home. So if you're somebody who has um, a restriction on what type of instrument you can uh, put in your home, let's say humidity control is a major challenge, or like many of us, you're now living in a townhouse or a condo, uh, and you need to be very mindful of the sound to your neighbors, an instrument like this is still gonna give you the pride and the satisfaction of owning a really, really fine instrument. But now you've got all the advantages that digital pianos give you as well. It never has to be tuned. You can use it with headphones. You can connect computers to it. Um, it's even got the ability to customize the piano through a feature on there called the Virtual Technician. So for those that sort of uh, match that criteria that they could see an instrument like this uh, playing a, a potential role in their life, I'd really encourage you to come down and have a look at the CS10. Uh, to most people who suit down at this, this is an absolutely shocking, revelatory experience. They can't believe that digital pianos have come this far. Uh, and for me, it's been a lot of fun to watch the progression of the technology move closer and closer and closer to that of an acoustic. It really is truly an enjoyable instrument to play. So thanks very much for listening to uh, my uh, review of the Kawhi CS10. And come on down and play it here at Miriam Pianos. Thanks for watching.